Hey there, folks. Hey there, folks. Ronnie Romance here, coming to you from sunny southern Arizona. Um, I want to talk to you today about the Illumilith Fork, a um, little user's uh, manual, if you wish, I suppose. Um, as you can see, this was a fork that uh, is a little bit different than what you see on the market today. Uh, this, these forks were popular with a few brands back in the early 90s, right before people started switching over to suspension forks. And uh, the crown clamps on much like a suspension fork would. Um, just like in those days, you want to keep an eye on it, making sure that you, know, you don't see it kind of you know, move up and down or anything like that. Keep an eye on these bolts. They've been torqued to spec 15 to 17 Newton meters. Um, uh, but, you know, always keep an eye on that stuff. Now, I have taken this bike to its limits in testing. Uh, limits being like 50 flights of stairs going down it, sending it, whatever you want to call it these days. Yeah, you know, any kind of real aggressive style riding if you're going down something, you know, really, really rough or a lot of washboards in the road, you know, that could that shakes everything, shimmies it, whatnot. You know, something like that, you know, that's going to make your uh, fork blades shimmy a little bit. Um, yeah, just tighten them up. It's no big deal. You know, if you're like the suing type, don't buy my stuff. So when you're wanting to uh, adjust your alignment up here or after a particularly hard, rough ride, if you notice it's a little bit off, just loosen these bolts right here, grab your front brake. And you can wiggle this thing back to right where you want it to be just by rocking it like this. Then it'll self-center itself, which is kind of cool. And this is the uh, way you want to pattern your tightening and loosening of these four bolts here. So when you're tightening this back up, tighten right here, tighten a little bit, 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 and so forth until tightened uh, to spec. Um, um, tighten it back up and you're good to ride again. Now also on your first ride with these, take along a wrench just in case, you know. We uh, torque these to spec at the factory, but we're only human. Um, it's not going to like explode or anything, but you might notice a little bit of slippage on the first ride. Um, so, you know. Um, also, another thing to consider, uh, we've had people report to us that um, the bulge in the head steerer tube is too large to accommodate a few different types of headsets, one in particular being the Vela Orange Grand Cru. Um, so don't try that, and also uh, don't try the Cook Brothers, Cook Brothers Racing one that you can get on eBay. Uh, what does work are the Kings and uh, Richie WCSs. I've tried those two with no issues. Um, so sorry about that if you bought a headset and you're like, oh, but you know, the kings are king. You know what they say? Um, I have two different cups on here because I tried this Cook Brothers one that didn't work. It's not like actual, you know, the old Cook Brothers brand. It's like a repop. All right. Well, anyway, I hope everyone's enjoying their Lumilith. I love this bike. I hope you do too. Oh yeah, you could also adjust your geometry here with uh, with this. So you know, slide it down a little bit if you think the the head angle is a little bit too slack for you. Uh, you know, it's fun. We probably won't offer these forks again because uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it because it's a cool fork. Oh yeah, also also you may have noticed that um, we only have uh, brazons for a pec deck uh, Rod Stewart type rack with nothing in the center here. So. We sell those. They support our bags. Call me selfish. <laughs> now they support other bags too. Um, so yeah, check those kinds of racks out on our site. Ronsbikes.com.